everyone welcome back let's see how to export the data in excel file format okay so we're going to write a simple code unit to export the data before that if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go and subscribe now and here you can find a lot of useful playlist for business central even if you are a functional consultant or a technical consultant you can find a lot more useful playlist here and I request you if you want to see all my videos as a first priority whenever it is released I request you to join my channel the joining link is in the description so let's go to the topic today I'm going to write a code unit to ex, uh, export the data in an excel format so let's start with code unit so this is a code unit I'm just going to write it okay and I'm going to make this code unit with a name called excel export to excel okay so this is the code in it and i'm just going to delete all these things because i just going to, i wanted to run the procedure i want to create a procedure let me just create a procedure here so t procedure and i will delete this local okay so this is not a local procedure it should be called from any uh where in, uh, within this extension so export data to excel so this is what the procedure name i'm just going to have so let's write the or let's create a variable so i want to create a variable here temp excel buffer i'm just going to create a temp excel buffer and what is this this is what the record temp excel buffer record uh, sorry yes excel buffer so okay so excel buffer so excel buffer is a default table which is available that is a microsoft base table available in business central so this is which is used to uh, if you want to create some excel data then you have to use this okay and i'm going to export what i'm going to export the customer data which is there available okay so i'm just going to use a required customer customer data excel file name so what file name you want to go to it for the excel so i'm just going to make it as a text okay so you need some file name right and the row number okay i'm just going to name the row number as integer because i want to fetch the row numbers how many rows i want it okay so now big in the beginning i'm just going to make a row number as one so now we will be adding the header row so i'm just writing the header row so temp excel buffer okay dot new row so what is this actually this new row is what the function it's a procedure which is available in the temp excel buffer itself okay and temp excel buffer dot next one is what add column so we want to add the column so if you just click on this add column you can see that these all are the arguments which you want to pass okay so what is the value whether do you have any formula any text whether you want to make it as a bold italic underline so all these things you have to pass it okay so the first one is what you wanted to tell which which column you wanted to get it so i'm just making it as number okay number is the customer number column from your um, uh, customer record okay and for the second thing i want to make it as false okay and the third parameter i wanted to make it as um, single quotes and then it's a false again and again it's a false 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 okay so you can make it one two and three false i'm just going to make it as a three false here i'll tell you why it is false and why i'm giving a single quotes and a temp excel buffer dot okay you can see cell -E cell type okay and here you can see that it's double colon that is a scope resolution operator here it's a text so what does this mean so here you can see let's explore this one line so that you can even understand everything easily okay so if you just um, see here you are 
our 10 pixel buffer dot add column so add column is actually a procedure in your um in your excel buffer table okay so for this add column you have to pass this much parameters okay what is these parameters you want to pass the first one is the value which value you wanted to get okay which column you wanted to get i wanted to add the number column and whether that column has any variable so you are telling no i don't have any variable whether do you want to add any comment text okay so i don't want to add any comment text and this is a text of uh, data type right so that is why you are just uh, leaving a small open and closed a single quotation okay and the next one is bold is also an uh, boolean so you are writing it false if you want to make it bold you can make it true is italics boolean so i don't want to make it as a um italic so i'm writing as false is underlined false and again next one number format do you have any number format and whether it has any th that particular uh, data type is text so that is why i'm just leaving a single quotes so like an empty single quotes okay which means that there is a text and you're not going to pass any value to this and what is the cell type the cell type is what text okay so this is what you have to enter so likewise we'll be writing many things for this like you can make it as for the name so name is also there okay uh, the second one is uh, we have added for the name and you can add if you have address whatever you wanted to export okay uh, city city is there and i'm just going to stop here like a postcode let's stop here okay so this is what the simple excel buffer if you want to add the column okay now these we have added the column now what we have to do is what we have to add the data rows so let's type here rows okay so what you want to go as what if customer if customer dot find set if you have find the if you have find the data you know like a fine set then what you have to do is what you have to um um let, let me just delete it if customer dot find set then you have to repeat in that in that repeat you have to add one more thing that is row number plus is equal to one here actually you are incrementing like how many data how many values you have you have to increment the column there okay other than that temp excel buffer dot new row you are creating a new row for that and this is fine your um, number your name your city you know everything are fine and um, okay due to the protection level okay so in that case you can just um uh, comment this you know you don't can you, you cannot export this because this is a base function base data right so you can just make it um like uh, comment it okay so you have just created everything until customer dot next is equal to zero unless and until it finds the last row you are trying to find that and add that to the excel buffer okay like the records now finally we have to create and download the file excel file so create and download the excel file so for this we are going to write the um a thing okay so we are going to write the name here so first one you can write us what the excel file name so here you can see this is what the excel file name and what name you have you want to save the excel okay c colon a temp excel x so here you can give some proper pa path if you wanted to add any path as of now i'm just not giving any path i just want to save it as a customer.xls file okay and then you can just type temp excel buffer dot what you want to do is what you want to create a new book okay create new book okay which will create a new book for you that is your excel worksheet for you and you can pass the excel file name okay what is the excel file name you want to create it and then you can see here that you on like you have to write the data right so temp excel 
buffer dot the next one once you have created a name new excel file and you have created the excel now you have to write the sheet okay write in the sheet what you wanted to write it in the sheet is what the customer uh, data okay so customer data um, and what you want to use your company name and the user id so you can see company name and you can add the user id so what you want to add so these are all things what um, this is what write sheet in the write sheet you can pass three parameters one is a report header what header you want to add what is the next one if you want to add a company name to you can add it if you want to add a user id you can add it okay so these are all the uh, default thing which is available and then you have to add temp excel buffer dot close book okay you can close the book and temp excel buffer dot open excel if you want to just open the excel you can go open excel okay and then you can end it okay so this is what the simple um uh, simple code in it to export the excel buffer so the first one you have to add the row that is first you have to add the columns what is the name of that column you wanted to bring it like what are the uh, uh, columns you want to bring in from that particular thing okay and then you have to add the every each and every entry right your records for that we have written this one and finally we have created the excel file name with the proper sheet name and um, we have added these data and finally we have closed it so now we want to call this data right we have to call this code unit so we'll be creating a simple page okay what we'll be creating we'll be creating a simple card page where i'll be create i will be writing um um simple action okay so let's let's just name this x excel export and i don't have uh you know like any i don't have any source table here let's me let me delete the source table and also i don't have any layouts here let me just delete the layout as well i just wanted to go with one single action okay because it's a simple table i just want to create it so in this action you can see in the action you can rename it as excel export okay and in the application area is equal to all if you wanted to add some caption here like excel export if you want to make it some image here you can make it as excel i think there is an excel as there okay so you can just name it as excel uh, i'm just going to make it as promoted is equal to true promoted category as the process okay so what is this promoted you can see here okay whether your selected icon is promoted it will be available in the home tab or not okay so all these things you can just write it here if this is not mandatory okay if you want it you can just make it here and exactly what we what we are going to write it in the action on action speaks a lot here so just write where and inside that i'm just going to use a variable export to excel and i'm just going to call the code in it here code in it export to excel okay so this is what my code in it i have created here export to excel i'm just calling that code in it okay now let's go and start it so i have to call what i have to call that procedure export to excel dot export to excel so what is that code in it so this is what the procedure i have created insert inside the code in it okay so i just called it that's it okay i called it i am just deleting all these things here like variable save this you know just save this and you can simply execute the code let's see what is the output of this code meanwhile if you require any personal guidance for your certification interview preparation mock interview resume review you can schedule a call here you can find the link in the description and um this is my ebook store if you want to find if you want to 
if you are preparing for any interview like business central interview if you want to master al programming in three weeks you know like um, this is for if both for functional and technical function um, business central i have the books here now also i'm preparing for many technologies please just comment your technology on which you want to see the a bookstore okay and um this is my blog the link is in the description please follow my blog for more useful uh, information about the certifications and everything so it's getting ready i will tell you like how to get 50 percentage off for your next microsoft exam okay so uh, okay this is by default you can just search for the export to excel card okay let me just search export excel export is the card actually we have created right this is what excel export card okay let me just uh, search the, select this you can see here excel export we have simply created one action button okay and that is what the action button it's like um it's images like excel and you can see that here so once if you click that you know you can see that it's something is downloading here can you see it's downloading it's it's book dot excel let me just open that books dot excel uh let me just i'll go and unblock this sometimes you know it will be blocked because you don't have so here you can see it is saved as a customer dot excel is okay because it's a sheet right so this is the sheet which is uh saved as customer dot excel is if you just go to the code unit you can find that it's shown as a excel file name okay it shows as a customer dot xls and uh, you can also see here that we have added number name address and city you know like what are the things which we have imported customer number name address and city and you can also see here that each and until it finds a zero it fetches all the six records here and finally you got your excel file okay this is how you can export the data to the excel file and yes i think we completed this if you want to see more uh, examples if you have any any task in your like in your, if you are facing any other real time challenges please let me know i can help you out i'll try to help you if i if i don't understand that or if i don't know that i'll frankly tell you that okay so yes now it's time to understand how to get 50 percentage off so um this is my microsoft learning room you can find my learning room it's a microsoft tech talks you know like i'll be sharing this form link okay just copy this link and i have already discussed like how to how to uh, submit this form in one of my video here you can find this is the video this will be available to you soon you know you can just click on this video and learn how to apply for that so just simply enter your name click submit your final um, form okay it will be like four pages of form you have to submit it once you have submitted you will be allowed in my learning room this is what my learning room microsoft tech talks uh, within two days okay so two working days so there from there you can just uh, send me a message through your team's channel that you are planning for what exam and uh, you can just let me know all these things i'll be sharing your the my 50 percentage microsoft uh, exam coupon to you okay so i hope you find something useful in this video if you have any good queries if you want to um uh, have any other uh, if you have any other uh, doubts you can just comment it i'll be happy to help you here so thank you take care and bye bye if you uh, so i have also uploaded a project you know like uh, this is the business central project i'm planning to upload it you can find the business central project here and if you uh, join like mostly few projects which are intermediate level and the high level will be available only for the um, uh, community members so if you want to join there the link is in the description please try to join there thank you take care and bye bye i'll meet you soon in the next exciting uh, video might be the project or something which is a topic thank you take care